guys welcome to the channel stop hey guys welcome to the channel hey guys welcome back to my channel we have been gone for a while I have to update you guys on everything that was taking place the last two three weeks actually it has been a week <laughs> it has been a three week and a half trust me January came started with a bang at the end of the first week guys my household was hit with COVID yes COVID all the members of my family with the exception of two of us had COVID two persons were hospitalized my son was not hospitalized but he had symptoms he had pains in his back he had sensitive skin um, he had a stuffy nose and at one point he had runny nose and it's crazy because I was I was literally sleeping and playing around with my son like we were always in the same spot together my son would, if I'm in the couch my son would sleep right there over in, in the other couch until like 3 o'clock in the morning then we would go to our beds and stuff guys grandmother had it my husband had it it was it was it was a wild ride it was a wild ride but I got through it and um they're recovering they're still in recovery mode and um you know we're getting through it we're getting through it it's it's rough because I didn't go to work for the whole time they were in the hospital I couldn't go to work because my son was still here I had to take care of him you know while they're in the hospital it was rough and for those who know me know that I am never away from my son like it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do my son was away from me for a few days and it was very hard it was very hard I broke down probably the first time I broke down was when I took my grandmother to the hospital and dropped her off two o'clock in the morning on my way back I sobbed big up to my friend Carrie for always being there being that listening ear for me like another friend of mine Nikki they're, they're always there they're always listening among other people but they're other they're they're always listening you know what I mean like I sobbed that night because I didn't know what was gonna happen you know I didn't know what was gonna happen and um, it was just scary it was just a scary time they're still not out of the woods you know they're still slowly recovering but anyways I'm not gonna dwell on that because oof, it's not my thing to dwell on right now I don't want to dwell on it so 2021 we're like 27 days into 2021 how you doing how have you been how are you coping how is your family are you working how are your kids doing with online school my kid is okay he likes online schooling how is your daughter or son doing how are your nieces and nephews doing you know how how are our cousins doing let me know in the comment section how you doing okay and I hope you're doing good and if at any point you feel like you ever want to give up hold your chin up because people have been through worse we have all been through worse probably worse yeah and we kept our chin up kept our chins up if you are a family member who can help another one do what you gotta do to help your family you know what I mean because it's the times and where we're at anyways today I'm gonna be doing a story time the story time is gonna be about my experience in training police academy when I was a recruit so <laughs> I um it's not gonna be a very long story it's just gonna be a little you know telling you like hitting the main points you know we're not gonna go too deep into it but anyways um I remember going I remember being called for training because you know it's a it's a process the process to get into training school like like why we have why we have to wait so long? 
you know, like, well, we're gonna wait so long to get into training school. See, I don't know, you know, anyways. So, I waited for this call from training school, man, and I wait, I wait, I wait. Couldn't hear nothing. They, they called me to go and do my, um, they called me to go and do my, you know, orientation. And so, orientation with a bunch of people. Didn't get no call. Went to do blood tests and all of that. No call. Then, it was Emancipation Day, the 1st of August in the evening after three o'clock now at this time i'm up in the hills in bloomsbury st elizabeth big up all the bloomsbury people i'm i'm up in bloomsbury and we're painting graves <laughs> we're painting graves and i get this call saying i should report to the training school at 6 30 the next morning now me there in the bush in the country oh me i gotta reach a kingston a spanish town by 6 30 in the morning you know, look, I actually I had stuff, I was getting stuff together but didn't have them packed. So I had to leave and get them packed and all that. So, the person on the phone says, packing off clothes for six months. Me not know so I can't get weekend. So I'm packing off clothes for six months. Guys, I had the biggest suitcase. Mr. Sharp can't tell you. The biggest suitcase because me a pack for six months. Me not even they know some could have find six months worth of clothes. Six months worth of clothes I had in a big old suitcase, big old grip. Anyways, we a training school. Them say who a big old suitcase this? Who a big old suitcase this? Some me bright self, me sir. Let me start calling me suitcase. Let me start calling me suitcase because women are going with so much clothes. They look like me never applied. So them say, but you look like you never applied to go back to your yard. So they say, but me, that means say, the person will tell me never give me the right information. Because they say, pack for six months. And that means I know everybody will laugh for me. I don't understand. Anyways. That gun on them care up no one hill up in a eco village up in a past content gap and go up in a some hill. Me mean a fur and a clothes a fur and them pack we in a some bus and truck and them something there. We bag in a truck and you know we go up the place calling them. Place calling them man. And the first place me see snowfall, snowflakes fall in Jamaica. You know. For those who, who trained with me and were in the auditorium that morning and remember seeing snowflakes, leave a comment down below. And for those who train at Eco Village, if you've ever seen snowflakes in Jamaica, in Eco Village, leave a comment down below. Me witnessed that with my own eyes. Snowflakes. So, I lose a snow fall in Jamaica. You're wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I mean, no, say, I never rain a fall. Snowflakes. Anyways, the play school. So we we'll go to we we'll go um you know we we'll get we we'll start getting to things and some so earlier this evening my son said he was standing on the chair and he said me if you lift him off of the chair. So I said lift you off of his chair. I must say man. So I said but you were in the jersey of Mr. So what that say? What that mean? I say, you know, say a weak link in a JCF too. So I say, me used to be the one up at front. Mr. Hill, Mr. Hill used to put me up at the front. You know why I at the front? Who oh, no. Leave a comment down below. The weakest link. <laughs> the weakest link at the front. For all who never know. And then now, when we start getting to the thing, no, no, man, I get into the exercise and stuff, you know. They send me down at the back. I'm not busy with me no more because I start keep up now and I start pull some people from the back put up at the front but thank God when I get through within a month I was able to stay in at the back but well Andy 